Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is July 9th, 2020. This is my second episode about vector calculus and the classical electromagnetic theory. In this episode, we will install debugging tools for Windows or windebug.exe for use with Qt Creator and Visual Studio 2019. We will check Visual Studio C++ version in Qt Creator. Then we will update Visual Studio 2019 to the latest version. Then we will install debugging tools for Windows. Then we will set build and run directory. Then we will make kit settings for Microsoft Visual C++. Then we will create a sample application. Then in Qt Creator, we will fix the code model could not pass an include file. This warning. Then we will make code model settings. I assume you have watched my previous video. In my previous video, we installed Intel TBB and OpenCL on Windows. Also, I assume you have watched Android in C++ Visual Studio 2019 Qt 5.12x Kotlin. If you haven't watched this video, please double click this link and install Qt 5.12.x on your machine. Otherwise, you may not be able to follow my current session. Now start your Qt Creator. Go to Tools. Option, select kits, then select compilers, read detect. Please be patient. Current version of Microsoft C++ compiler in Qt Creator is 16.6.3. So, please record this number. Current version is 16. Point six point three zero zero zero. Now I will save it. Also, debugger, if you make it bigger, we cannot see Microsoft debugger. Now close it. Now close it. Now we will update Visual Studio 2019. I will close web browser. Start Visual Studio. Please note that. I'm currently using Visual Studio 16.7. Close it. Go to Tools. Get Tools and Features. Click Yes. Then Visual Studio Installer will pop up. Please update Visual Studio Installer before proceeding. Update. I will close it once again. Close. I will close it once again. Help. Check for updates. My current version is 16.7.0 preview 2.0. Update version is 16.7 preview 3.1. So update available. Click update. Yes. I will close Visual Studio. It will take some time. Please be patient. Success! One more step to go. Please restart your computer before you start Visual Studio. By clicking this link, we have to restart our machine. This session continues after restarting my machine. Now start Visual Studio. We have to start Visual Studio at least once. Now go to Help. About Visual Studio, now it is updated to Preview 3.1. I will copy this text, copy, I will paste it here. So this is our new version. Save it. I will close Visual Studio now. Now we updated Visual Studio 2019 to the latest version, to this version. Now we will install debugging tools for Windows. Please double click this link. From this web page, scroll down, select Windows 10 SDK. Click download the installer. Click open. 
Install Windows Software Development Kit. Click Next. Send anonymous UCG data to Microsoft? No. Click Next. I accept. Because we installed Microsoft Visual Studio, we don't need this. I will unselect this option. We are installing Windows Performance Toolkit, Debugging Tool for Windows, Application Verifier for Windows, Windows Application Certification Kit, Windows IP over USB, MSI Tools. So we are installing Debugging Tools for Windows. It will require 763 MB. Click Install. Yes. It will take some time depending on your internet connection. Now we installed Windows Software Development Kit. Click Close. Please note that Windows SDK can modify system environment variables. I highly recommend you to reboot your machine. This episode continues after rebooting my machine. I have just restarted my machine. Up to this point, we downloaded the debugging tools for Windows. Now, start Qt Creator. Go to Tools, Options, Kits, Compiler. It is still pointing to the previous version. Redetect. Please be patient. Redetect. Debugger. In case of debugger, Windows Kit 10 debugger is detected. It does not seem to work. Now close it. Let's start Visual Studio once again. Now close it. Start Qt Creator once again. Go to Tools, Options, Kits. It is still pointing wrong version. Try to redetect. OK, it's redetected. This is new version. Now Kits, select this one. I will make it bigger. No compiler. We have to choose. This is still older version. Close it. Start Qt Creator once again. Tools, Options, Compiler, Something wrong. Redetect. OK, it is redetected. Apply. Kits, select this one. Scroll down. Now this is new version. This is Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 64-bit. Select AMD 64. Here C++, select C++ compiler AMD 64. Debugger is automatically detected. This is x86 32-bit. So we will select 64-bit. Click Apply. Now select this one once again. Make default. Select this one. This is 32-bit. Select AMD 64 x86. Scroll down, AMD 64 x86. This is 32-bit version. Debugger is this one, x86. Now click Apply. Click OK. Up to this point, we made kit settings for Visual C++. Now build and run directory. Select Qt Create once again. Go to Tools. Options, Build and Run, Browse, Browse to your working directory, Tutorials, Vector and Electromagnetics. This is my working directory. We created this folder in our previous episode. Select Folder. Now click Apply, click OK. So we set build and run directory. We completed up to this point. Now 
we will create a sample application in the Qt create once again file new files or project select Qt wizard application choose browse button create a new folder 002 hello Qt select this folder select folder hello Qt click next click next click next click next I will make it bigger Qt 5.12.8 Microsoft Visual C++ 2017 64 bit click next click finish we can see the code model could not parse include files go to help about plugin scroll down unselect this option clan code model unselect this option click close now close it start qt create once again go to file recent project this is our recent project now we don't see the error message now open main cpp file up to this point we fixed this error now we will make code model settings tools option C++ code model sorry cancel go to file about plugins code model enable it close it tools options C++ we have to restart restart Qt creator go to tools option now it is enabled c++ code model manage select this copy modern c++ programming click ok now i will post this script copy this string and paste it here click ok click this button modern C++ programming click apply click OK now go to help about plugin now C++ disable it close now we close it start again files we send project now we don't see warnings open hello qt pro we will use latest control s we saved the changes now we build the application is built successfully compile output there is no warning and no error now we can change it to release build again run it it runs successfully now change it to debug mode once again open the file right click set breakpoint at line 5 you should have selected debug build now click debug sorry go to debug start debugging start debugging over startup project now our application is paused at line 6 so we can see the debugging information now go to debug start debugger now we can close qt creator in this episode we updated visual studio 2019 and installed debugging tools for Windows, for use, 
with Qt Creator and Visual Studio 2019. In my next episode, I will explain how to use OpenCL with Qt toolkits.